So now this file is a little bit harder and more than likely in this test, we're probably not going to ask you something like this. There'll be something on the check-in that'll have to do with it so that you can prove, you know, that you're, um, you know, that top level if you want to be. Um, but in these pictures, not everything's going to be marked. So you're going to be looking for two things. Number one, the easy one is some of these triangles are going to have vertical angles, all right, as part of their picture. When we have vertical angles, that's easy, all right? Mark them congruent, and that gives you a pair of angles, all right? So there might be an extra pair of angles that's not marked there. So in this file, make sure you take a look at something, all right, and see if there's any vertical angles. Something that's new that we're going to talk about just a tiny bit right here, and then we'll come back and talk about it again, is when two triangles both have a side that they share in common, all right? Meaning there's one side that's a part of two different triangles. When that's true, what we know is that that side can't change size between the two triangles. So we know they share that side in common. So it gives them a, I'm finger quoting here, pair of sides, even though it's only one side, um, because we know that they have a side that's exactly the same no matter what. So when two triangles share a side in common, what I want you to do for right now, we're not going to worry about understanding this completely, is you're going to put an X on it. All right. And then you know they have a pair of congruent sides. That X is a pair of sides. All right. This is called the reflexive property. All right, so it's called the reflexive property. It sounds like reflection, and it basically is a reflection. All right, it's a triangle that's having a little triangle reflected over that line to make another triangle. We haven't done reflections yet, all right, but it looks like a mirror kind of down the middle of it. All right, divides it right in half. Um, so when you're doing one of these problems in here, because not everybody's gonna get here, you're gonna go down through and you're gonna add in either an X or you're gonna add vertical angles into every one of these problems. Okay, now they might not be congruent after you do that because it might make side side angle or maybe it's just angle angle and it doesn't help you. Okay, but what I want you to do is if you add in vertical angles, right vertical angles are congruent next to your problem just off to the side. If you throw an X on a side that's shared, right reflexive property. All right, just so we're practicing kind of writing down or showing our work. Um, and like I said, unlikely this is on the test. All right, likely that it's going to be on the check-in. So if you want to be able to get a five, all right, on the check-in, you're going to have to 